Hi, I'm Jay from White Sneakers. With AK resolution and AI features, the action camera was announced with an overwhelming amount of ads and promotional videos for the new product release, Insta360's third challenge, the Action Cam Insta360 Ace Pro. With specifications like high resolution, a larger sensor, and a lens co-developed with Leica, it seems like it could be the best action camera of the year 2024. Still, using it in real life, there are bound to be pros and cons, right? This video was also prepared with a product that was purchased directly without any sponsorship or agent involvement and was thoroughly reviewed. Will it be a useful product for the summer of 2024? We'll share our personal experience. Shall we get started? Recent competitors' products either have high resolution with a small sensor or, on the contrary, products with larger sensors and lower resolution were released, making it difficult to find a balance. This time, Insta360 offers 48 megapixels for photos. The video introduced an action camera capable of shooting up to 8K, injecting tension into the relaxed competition. The action camera is mostly used in dynamic situations. If it supports high resolution, you can crop and recompose the frame during post-editing. Those extra pixels can be used, that means there are more opportunities to save it in post-production, even if it's shot hastily. Shooting at a fixed bitrate of about 100 megabits per second, based on 4K 24 frames, I haven't yet experienced a sudden drop in quality under any circumstances. However, there are compromises made for high resolution and high bitrate, which we will cover in the drawbacks. The sensor size was the same as DJI Action 4 at 1.3 over an inch, but the low light image results seemed more stable. Noise suppression was good, and when I tested the four-stage image stabilization at night, there was a clear difference at each stage. Of course, it can't be compared to a mechanical gimbal, but for a product with electronic image stabilization, it showed quite impressive results and the flicker handling from various light sources was pretty decent. Personally, I haven't been a big fan of the color science in the Insta360 Action Cams released so far. The washed out or distorted colors make it less likely to be used for quick documentation over time, unless I have to use it without alternative options. This product shows a bit more stable color than before, so I've included it as an advantage. Shooting with default settings captured the scene's colors reasonably well, without the need for color correction. When reviewing the Instago third generation, I mentioned that it seemed like this flip screen would be applied to the next product, and indeed, it has been included in this product. We'll cover the drawbacks later, but a good point was that you could monitor the screen from various angles during filming. When you lightly rotate the screen after placing the camera on the floor, it allows you to look down comfortably, making it useful if you use this product like a small camcorder. The strengths of Insta360, such as various shooting modes, are also applied to this product. Slow motion, time lapse, star lapse. Using built-in features like hyperlapse, I was able to create a rich and engaging video, which was great. One of its advantages was its high compatibility with Apple products. Connecting with the Apple Watch Ultra allows for GPS linking and shooting controls. It connected well with the AirPods Pro second generation and the sound quality wasn't bad. Bluetooth allows for connectivity with helmets or GPS devices, although available products are specified, so this might be a limitation for it would be good to confirm your purchase. It adopted GoPro's mounting method, but used a quick release mount similar to DJI Action, moving away from the previous mount system that required a separate case. The fact that the device can be easily attached and detached was definitely convenient. Additionally, it would be nice if the battery, USB-C, memory, and card slots were separate. I mentioned it before in an earlier video, and it was nice to see it applied this time. The risk of water getting into the battery has decreased, making it safer to use. It's a good product, but it can't be without its flaws, right? This time, I'll talk about the drawbacks I felt during actual use. This product was made with 2024 in mind, but does not support 10 bits. But in the case of 10 bits, there's a downside that hardware support is needed during editing, so it could be said this was a decision for general use. The product is priced higher compared to competitors, especially with the Leica brand attached. This might be a significant drawback for consumers who use it more professionally. While creating sample videos, the limitations of 8 bits can be easily discovered. The inability to choose between 8 and 10 bits for shooting was quite disappointing for a product aimed at the year 2024. To edit AK, your editing computer must have the necessary hardware. File sizes are bigger when you shoot in 8K, so focusing on improved 4K quality seems more useful in actual usage. Decent results were obtained in low-light situations. In certain situations, video shot showed low-light jitter, screen separation mentioned even between actions, and blurring of quality in pure shot. Also, the fact that about the first second of audio isn't recorded when shooting with pure shot is quite inconvenient. Firmware might fix it to some extent, but it would be a good idea to check if this issue has been addressed before purchase. 
As the sensor has increased in size, there are corresponding drawbacks as well. Firstly, the minimum focus distance has increased compared to other brands. And compared to GoPro's 12mm, the 16mm offers a wider view, but it's still disappointing for capturing everything in one shot. For the DJI Action 4, they increased the sensor size to 1 1.3 inches, but there was disappointment because it had already shown that it could support a wide 11mm field of view. Like other products, if it had supported ultra-wide angle as standard and implemented a wide range of angles through digital cropping with a high-resolution sensor, it could have been a powerful product for vlogging. The inconvenience of unlocking the screen and flipping it in urgent situations was a downside we expected. A screen set up high is also more likely to be damaged upon impact. The overall size of the screen has increased, raising the likelihood of bumping into surrounding obstacles. Therefore, it seems unlikely to use it flipped over in extreme situations. We added a display on the front to show status but incorporating a smaller screen allows for quick composition checks when taking selfies rather than just showing the shooting values. Turning off the main screen during shooting seems like it could save battery. Putting on a waterproof case means you can't flip the screen, which reconfirms that the design of the flip screen didn't consider various situations. It is said to be a product with basic waterproofing, but if you take the modular product 1RS as an example, there was an inconvenience of having to clean it thoroughly because even a small gap allows water to stay. There was also a cable on the LCD screen and a screen warning. Because there are hinges, there's a risk of contamination and damage. So, in the sea with lots of small particles, I don't think I would use it with the screen flipped over. The absence of a front LCD screen was felt as a disappointment again. When shooting in 8K, rolling shutter occurred, and the delay between the actual shooting scene and the LCD screen was quite long. Even in previous action cam comparisons, Imsta products had the slowest screen speed, and it was quite disappointing that this higher priced product didn't show much improvement. The quick release system was convenient, but it did not securely lock with all the products I am using. Even when pressed very hard, it often fails to lock securely, leading to the product detaching. Even when I pressed hard, there was no click sound, and in such cases the mount inevitably came off when pulled by hand. The part where you press against the mount is also designed uncomfortably, so it was inconvenient for me to use. And this is something buyers should definitely check. If you firmly press the top of the battery cover with your thumb, the cover opens easily. We tested two of Ace Pro. Both products exhibited the same issue. If the top of the cover gets hit, it might open and expose the battery. So it would be good to check if the product you bought shows the same symptom. Initial promotional videos before the official release indicated that the lens covers were interchangeable, but the final product did not allow for this. I was puzzled because the design is very similar to GoPro, so I wondered if there was a patent issue. When we look at other creators' videos, it seems that instead of changing the design of the lens cover, they circumvented the problem by fixing it with adhesive. The issue is that it's heavy. Its size is larger compared to other companies' products, so there's a chance of reduced damage in the same scenarios. In the case of Action 4, you can buy and replace the lens cover. But for Ace Pro, free replacement service is provided only once. Even with it, the time taken for exchange and product delivery, among other things, was considered a downside compared to other companies. It seems like a problem that could have been easily solved if only the cover was available for separate purchase, which was quite disappointing. And when used underwater, it's inevitable that moisture condenses inside the lens cover. In such cases, separating and drying the lens cover quickly resolves the issue. But with the Ace Pro, the cover is fixed. It seems unlikely to remove moisture quickly. In the case of the One RS with an integrated lens cover, frequent moisture accumulation was noted underwater, similar to the One R 1-inch model. Since the same phenomenon occurred in that case as well, it seems that the issue of moisture condensing inside the cover is not easily resolved. If the cover was detached, it seems like moisture could be quickly removed. An unofficial tool to replace this lens cover wasn't sold. It's happening, but since the warranty might expire, this approach might have to be risked by the consumer. Compared to other products, it's heavier, and the recoil when attached to the body is more severe. The thickness is also on the heavier side, which reduces compatibility with previously used accessories. Personally, I felt the drawbacks derived from the flip screen outweigh its benefits. This book confirms that the low-light performance and insufficient image quality, which have been chronic issues of action cameras released so far, can be improved through the Ace Pro. The improved color stability in flip screen would be a great advantage if you use this action cam for daily vlogging. However, the larger sensor increased the minimum focusing distance, and the maximum angle of view being 16mm is narrower compared to other brands 12mm, which personally makes it inconvenient to use as an action cam in intense situations. This product seems to require a bit more caution when used because of certain elements. For those who primarily shoot in low light conditions and high quality 8-bit videos in their daily life, this product is worth considering. To give an honest review, we make review videos without product sponsorships, guidances, or ads, so your support would really energize us. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and set up notifications. Please set notifications and leave a comment. That was Creator Jay with White Sneakers.